Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. What I have here for you today is the Butler Creek ASAP Magazine Loader. There are a lot of different magazine loaders out there, but what drew me to this particular one is this right here, made in the USA. Now I've come to the sad conclusion that no magazine loader is perfect. There are many, many out there. It all depends. The one size fits all, you know, have their problems. And then of course you have the ones that are very specific like this one, uh, only handles double stack from your 380s to your 45 and everything in between as long as they are double stack. But they do sell other ones. They cover AKs, ARs, a single stack for like a 45 and uh, that's for 45 1911 let me be a little more specific and they also have one for the Ruger 1022 for those rotary magazines the ones that are the steel lip and hot lips before we take this out of the box I'd like to remind you that I did provide the links in the description box below Amazon it's $28 and on um, Walmart <laughs> it's $27 choose whichever one or just go to Walmart because actually I picked this up at an actual Walmart store and that made in the USA again drew me right to it. Uh, why do I have this? Well, uh, 10 years ago, 5 years ago, if you told me, hey, check this out, I'd say, right, I can load my own magazines. Then you start getting old. <laughs> then you start getting old. By the way, this is completely safety check. Uh, as you start filling these magazines and the spring compresses it gets harder and harder to load it and as you're, you're, you get older things get sore or don't work quite as good and it gets really hard loading those last couple of rounds into your magazine so um, for, for somebody who doesn't have a lot of strength in their hand or for older people this is a possible solution and we'll, we'll find out if it is we'll check it out right now so what we'll do for the tabletop part of this is I have my Beretta PX4 right here. It is 9mm. I'm going to go ahead and put that aside. And I have the magazine, the magazine and the magazine loader. And I do have some rounds off side there. We'll go ahead and open this up. Let's see what we got. There we go. I don't think there's anything else in here. They do have some very simple instructions. You just jam the magazine underneath put the round in, release it. So it should be uh, one simple motion. They felt it easy enough that even Fred can do it without any elaborate instructions. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some rounds right here. Um, they'll probably all roll away. Sure they will if you're interested in what type of rounds I'm putting in here. They're uh, Federal, I think, Hydroshocks. Let's see, yeah, Hydroshocks, nine millimeter. That's what we're gonna try out. So what you're supposed to do is stick the magazine in here just like that just like that so let's see if this works so I guess it's good just to put it just on the thing like that and just stick around in there just like that oh look at that you saw how that pushed it in too that's kind of slick so like if you you know, don't put it in all the way. Look how that sort of shoves it down in there for you. That's kind of cool. I'm going to go ahead and try to get a close-up of how that's working. Because that is kind of neat. I'm going to like not push it all the way back. I'm just going to do that. And I've watched it do its thing right there. So it's pushing down the follower. And also pushing the round back at the same time. So that's kind of slick. So, now, I could do this a lot quicker if I had this in my hand that I'm used to using. So, I can just pop it in like that. You can see how fast that goes. Oops. What happened there? Oh, there we go. Alright, operator error. Alright. All right, nice and simple. I want to see if I could do this faster. I'm going to go ahead and pop this in. Now, the front of your, the tip of the magazine should go like that. See that? Fits in. I guess there's some sort of 
I like how it fits in nice and tight. I'm not sure how it's doing that. Just out of curiosity. It just sort of centers itself, and I guess that's because this piece here has a curve to it, which helps it keep everything centered. Kind of cool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this with my... Um, I'm trying to figure out which hand I could do this that would just give it a better view, but I wanted to see how fast I could actually do this. All right. See, this magazine, ha it's not sitting flat. <laughs> I just want to see how fast I can do this. All right, here we go. Okay. Again, I'm trying to do this on camera at the same time. <laughs> you know what? You just can't fix old. All right. There we go. Let's pop them in there. Round rolling away. I'm just going to do 10 rounds. So there we go. I'm sure there's some professionals that could do this a lot quicker. But um, pretty cool how fast that is. A lot easier than, you know, having to do this <laughs> every time. And, you know, now this magazine can hold up to 17. I'm in Maryland. And there's some weird things about you're not allowed to um, buy or sell or uh, magazines that are over tank capacity. Even though you're allowed to own them, especially if you already had them before, that rule went into effect. But um, just to be on the safe side, I don't load my magazines beyond 10 rounds just because this state just gets too weird. One day I will escape. Right, I just want to take one more last look here. I just want you to see everything is made see there's a spring down in there how things are working take a look at the bottom yes I, I bit my thumb because I can't leave anything alone uh, see that all right really well made very solid I really like how it's uh, built it's not cheap plastic it feels like it's pretty sturdy all right so it's time to make this gun ready and yes this one is kept loaded <laughs> ready to go in a safe place of course uh, Beretta what a great company and it's too bad that Maryland really screwed them over to the point where they just had to leave the state unbelievable Maryland used to make a lot of guns here in in Maryland and, and Beretta and um, there was one other that falls under Stoger I'm not positive but anyway because of the last batch of anti-gun laws that the state passed, they just said, screw you guys, we're leaving the state. And they did, and they kept their word. They said, if you pass those laws, we're going to leave. So Beretta left Maryland. They stuck to their word. So I have a lot of respect for Beretta. So there are more questions coming up. Um, I think so far I've posted three questions. I have more coming up. For those of you who answered the questions, thank you so very much. You're, you're helping me develop and advance my channel to something that you'll hopefully like a lot better because I'm, I'm trying to um, shape it just a little bit and guide it in such a way that I could still do what I like to do and yet it'll be something that you'll enjoy even more. So I value your, your input and your answers. I really do. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, well, I do want to keep this short. It's already longer, way longer than I wanted it to be. So thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. I really do, as always, appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and you. And I hope you have a great day or evening. Take care. Bye.